Hello, this is Tom Zeppenfeld from Graphilion with a short video on what you could do if you run Interactor for the first time. You see, after login, you see a panel with shortcuts with the cipher window and panels where you can display uh, uh, detailed information. Now, let's first run um, the default query. The results are displayed in what we call a network view and represent the number of nodes that have been created during the install process. When you start clicking, you see on the right side, you see detailed information on the uh, properties as well as the neighbors. And um, uh, you, can, uh, you can start editing by clicking on the edit button in the upper right panel, uh, but you can also edit by right clicking on a uh, node or a relationship in uh, in the network panel the network view sorry you can also start exploring from here and when you select the nodes uh, add its neighbors uh, for instance uh, or just a group or just a single one to uh, the network view. Here on the bottom side you have the nodes that you have visited so you can also navigate from there. Now let's uh, start and create some new stuff from a new network view. If we uh, right click on the network view you can say create node, you can enter your labels and a couple of, uh, of properties if you would like to. Okay, there it is. And uh, let's create a second one with another property. If I now want to connect them, I select the start node and then with command or control pressed, I select the other one, depending on whether I'm running on Mac or uh, on Windows, and add my uh, relationship type and the, prop the relationship properties. Now, um, you see that uh, uh, they, have, they are not styled yet. But if I would uh, like to style my car nodes, I have my... Uh, my style um, window where I have all my styling properties and what I do is create a new uh, car style and I'm setting uh, uh, the label to its license plate property and if I apply you see that it changes immediately I could save it but before saving it let's also make it square and yellow Okay, I have to save the styles and now every car node will be styled this way. Now let's look at some other functionality that uh, comes with the Community Edition. Uh, the possibility to send output to uh, what we call a table view function. So if I return properties or IDs instead of nodes and um, press the execute button then it returns uh, stuff in the tabular format uh, another uh, interesting aspect is that interactor the dashboard is built in interactor itself uh, so all the different views that you see on your screen they are generated from the graph and you can easily see that if you press the setup button and load uh, a number of Neo4j query nodes that, that you can activate by the different shortcuts. So you see here a, a user diagram which uh, translates to a user diagram to my diagrams uh, in, um, uh, in the dashboard or you have a query to uh, uh, clear the cipher history 
or a shortcut to the cipher history window. So if you uh, uh, start exploring the functions, like for instance this uh, the cipher history uh, function, you can see that when the query is uh, uh, executed successfully, it uh, uh, it fires, it sends its data to a cipher history table view, and that's how it uh, how it works. Now there are. A Actually, quite some functions that come preloaded. If you, uh, uh, this is the entire setup of all the functions that you have in um, uh, in the Community Edition, and feel free to to explore them and see how the what how the properties and the relation of the nodes and relationships are are set. Um, if you have an interesting case or something that you want to to uh, to freeze. You can. Uh, we have a diagram function in in here. So if I, for instance, would save the want to save the layout of this, I can call it uh, diagram uh, diagram one. And if I save it, then this diagram is accessible through the my diagrams button. Um, so here this uh, this video ends. Uh, thank you for uh, for watching and stay tuned for uh, more uh, explanations on what you can do with uh, Interactor. Thank you for watching.